Hi, I'm Quentin Thierry, Sales Manager here at Bartek US for Process Analyzer Technology, PAT Group. Today, in this video, we will be discussing the Hygrofill F model 5672 or 5673 moisture analyzer and more specifically our moisture probe. So we will divide our video in three sections. The first section will talk about the measurement chain, the various components that are in the moisture analyzer to actually make the analysis. The second part will focus more on how does the probe in conjunction with the other elements actually make the moisture measurement. And then finally, we will look at some very basic maintenance requirements for the Hygrofill F probe. So, as I said, there are various components that make the Hygrofill F analyzer. The first part is the evaluation unit or the analyzer. This is where we have the light source. This is where we do all the ma mathematical calculation because of the processor in it. This is also where all the signal and communications of the DCS come from and arrive to. We then have a fiber optic. So the evaluation unit, the light source in the evaluation unit, sends a signal, a light signal, through the fiber optic all the way to the probe through this connector. We must mention that although we call it a fiber optic, it's actually a multi-component cable because we have some wires that are also running through the fiber optic cable. And those wires land also in the probe here and they're used to monitor, amongst other things, the temperature probe inside the Hygrofill F probe. And then finally, we have our probe. What is so special about this probe? What is special about the probe is the tip here. I'm going to remove the protective sleeve so that I can show you the tip of the probe. As you can see, we have a glass substrate, which is a very special substrate. It has been designed and patented by Bartek, and it is special because it is porous to water. So now that you know that, how does the system actually work? So as I mentioned, in the evaluation unit, we have a light source. The light source is beamed from the evaluation unit through the fiber optic all the way to the probe. It goes to the tip and then enters the glass substrate. As it exits, it returns through the same path to the evaluation unit. Now, this probe is installed in the process and we have the sample flowing around the probe and around the glass substrate. Depending on the amount of moisture inside the sample, as the substrate will get loaded more or less with moisture based on basically osmosis. As the light passes through the glass substrate, we have a shift in light properties. When this light returns to the evaluation unit, a comparison is made between the light emitted versus the light received. And based on the properties of the light received, a calibration built in the analyzer will allow us to calculate the amount of moisture present in the sample. The calibration is made by exposing a probe to various quantities of water and recording the response of the entire system. The last thing I want to cover with you is the maintenance aspect of the Hygrofill probe. The maintenance requirements of the Hygrofill probe are low. We recommend that at least once a year or more, depending on process requirement, the probe be taken out of the process and cleaned. To clean it, we will require two things, Anal analyzer grade Q-tips and IPA, isopropyl alcohol. Before handling any chemicals, please refer to the requirements of your health, safety and environment policy in your company to make sure that the handling of the chemicals is done according to the requirements of your company. In my case, I will be putting on gloves before touching the isopropyl alcohol. Now, how do you clean the probe? As I said, it's a relatively simple process. Once the probe is out of the process, take your IPA and wet the tip of the probe. Once the tip of the probe has been exposed to IPA, you will take an analyzer grade Q-tip and ensure that you 
remove or scrub with the, the Q-tip, the tip, the glass substrate of the probe to remove any impurities and or deposit that might have come in contact with the probe. Once this is done, make sure to remove liquid and or whatever dirt, dust, particulates, debris you might have on the probe and your probe is ready to go back in your process. And that covers the extent of the maintenance required for the hydrofill probe. With all this being said, we appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and we're looking forward to seeing you in a different video. Thanks and have a nice day.